through, work out our triangulation, find out where we're at, and conduct your navigational checklist. Staff Sergeant JT Thomas is a survival, evasion, resistance, and escape, or SEER specialist. His job is to make sure pilots know what they need to do if they find themselves stranded in unknown territory. Once you have your coordinates come up there, sir, you have 2D or 3D lock. You go ahead and plot those coordinates. We'll conduct about two to two and a half hours of academics on base. A quick how to find food, how to find water, how to build shelters, how to navigate, how to meet your needs in not only a non-combat situation, but as a combat survivor on the ground when they need to meet these needs and do these skills as an evader. It's a rainy and foggy day making the training more realistic, forcing the pilot to rely on his navigational tools. When you eject out of your aircraft, you're going to have your general location, be able to observe the train on your way down. Once the pilot determines his location and where he needs to be, the next phase of the training begins. Stationary index line, mm -hmm. and then read the red number underneath. Finding landmarks to help navigate from one position to another. This phase is for a non-combat situation, but not all situations will be non-hostile, so the course prepares them for anything. Once they initiate the ejection sequence and they're out under canopy, they're hitting the ground, the aircrew member needs to realize that one mission ends, but another mission begins. Once they're on the ground, their mission then is to maintain life, maintain honor, and to return. And this training provides them the skills necessary to do that. Skills like gathering dry wood and building a fire. But the moisture and snow makes it difficult to get the fire started. The cold weather, a bitter reminder of how important these skills are. It takes three tries and about an hour later when the fire finally catches. Then the pilot begins the evasion portion of the training. This part will incorporate necessary evasion tactics and using a radio to communicate with a rescue crew. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Every skill Sergeant Thomas teaches the pilot could be the one that saves his life. Our job here is to support the war fighters. These guys who are out putting bombs on target, make sure that if something happens to them, they can perform the skills necessary, get themselves back, and it's all about getting our air crew members back and to make sure that they can meet these requirements, both under armistice and wartime conditions. This pilot navigates successfully to his potential rescue location, undetected, armed with the knowledge and skills he needs to survive if the unthinkable occurs. Reporting from the woods outside of Kunsan, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Melissa Allen.